Hi guys, welcome to the NumPy Essential Lecture Part 3. This is the last part in the NumPy section. Let's talk about NumPy operations in this section, such as arithmetic operations and universal functions. Let's move on to the Jupyter Notebook. We can start with the previous one where we stopped. And in this case, we don't need to import NumPy again. So let's create an array again. A double R equal to, we can use NP dot A range 0 to 5. Let's see how this array look like always. 0, 1, 2, and 4. What if we want to add R in R? We can do this thing R plus R. So 0, 1 plus 1, 2, 2, 2, 4, 3, 3. We can do other arithmetic operation as well. And it is simple. Like in Python, we are adding them, like adding numbers, like adding variables. We are multiplying them. We are subtracting them. You can do division as well. So this is warning for 0 divided by 0. So which is replaced with NAN in our result. We can do 1 over A double R. So when we are dividing 1 over 0, it's infinity. And this is again warning here. So moving forward, we can get the power of whole array. Or we can do the multiplication like multiplication of some scalar to array, 2 multiplied by array, or maybe 10 multiplied by the same thing again. We can do multiplication, we can compute powers, we can subtract, divide, multiply, and do all these kind of arithmetic operations on NumPy arrays. So let's talk about the universal functions now. NumPy have a range of built-in universal functions. These are essentially just mathematical operations and we can use them to perform specific tasks which are associated with the function. You can explore more about the universal functions from NumPy's official documentation. Let's go to the reference notebook and open the provided link. So if we open this link, here we see a universal function or ufunc for short is a function that operates on nd arrays in an element by element fashion supporting array broadcasting typecasting and several other standard features so we can explore more about the functions like if we want to see the maths operation let's click this link here we have add subtract and if we move down power mod and uh, exponential log log to square root square and if we move down we can find these trigonometric functions like sine cos tan and if you want to know about some specific function you can click the link and it will lead you to the documentation related to that function and uh, with some examples Let's move back to the Jupyter Notebook and use some of these functions on our array to see how they perform. So coming back, let's try to apply some new universal functions to our array A double R. Let's print A double R first. We have this array. We want to get the square root of this array. To call this function, as usual, we have to use np dot s q r t this is square root you can check the document string if you want and read whenever you want let's pass in array and our output is the square root of all these elements individually in a new array we can we can get the maximum value n p max array or we can get the minimum value min 
uh, right? So 4 is the maximum value, 0 is the minimum value. We can do other trigonometric operations as well, like np dot like np dot sine pass in array, and we are getting the sine values of all these elements in array. We can calculate exponential dot exp and pass in the array, and here it is. We can calculate log as well. Np dot log pass in array and here the log values once again the warning for infinity so there's another very useful function np dot degree take to rate so if you pass in array so all these values will be converted from degree to radian so the function is considering these values are in these values are in degrees and it's converting them into radian so there's another one opposite to this one np rate to degree and let's pass in let's pass in this function so in principle we should get our list back so here it is now this radian to degree is converting back these values to degrees so this was all about universal functions and uh, mathematical operations in numpy i hope you enjoyed this lecture this was extensive learning in last three sections we have gone through lots of new concepts in numpy in the next lecture we are going to have a quick overview on the exercises in numpy after that we will solve those exercises in the solution lecture However, I recommend you guys to go through those exercises before you move on to the solution lecture. See you in the next lecture. Good luck.